Action News at 11. We do want to talk to you. Get to hear the Browns aren't crying the blues anymore. No more. Okay, Duff, thanks so much. Got it. Well, it was a chilly night outside, but things were heating up inside the Gund Arena with groups like REO Speedwagon, Sticks, remember them, and Survivor, rocking Cleveland, all for a good cause. I tried to wave my flag on When Tommy Shaw, lead singer of Styx, saw the destruction of 9-11, he wanted to do more than just wave a flag. He wanted to help the families of the survivors. And so, Rock to the Rescue was born. Around the end of September uh, of last year, I just was getting frustrated, probably like a lot of other Americans, at uh, just watching the news over and over and over and feeling kind of powerless. And the only thing, this is, this is what I do, this is all I know how to do. So I called my manager and I said, do you think there's some way we could get all our friends together and do a, a benefit? Then Tommy found out that 37 families of the Port Authority Police Department had been tragically affected by September 11th. But they'd been overlooked because they were separate from the NYPD. They're not getting paid. They're all working for free. And to do this for us is, is it's, you can't describe it. Hello, Cleveland. REO Speedwagon's Kevin Cronin says the experience of performing on stage with his friends while knowing the sober reason behind the concert is all about balance. That's what our country has to do. We have to be uh, be happy about the, the, the that it's brought the country together. At the same time, never forget the victims. And it's uh, so that's what we're doing. It's a celebration and, and a tribute. In one. Now, if you want to donate, you can check out their website, rocktotherescue.com. The money raised from the concert will go to the Port Authority Police Survivors Fund and also to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Educational Fund. Still ahead on Action News. Attacks. Bad Company, Foreigner, Sticks, all in one room. A rockin' concert brings famous bands from the 70s and 80s right here to Cleveland. A chilly start to this. About that. A star-studded concert right here in Cleveland. Coming up, famous bands from the 70s and 80s rocking together in Cleveland. We'll tell you what brought them to town next. And coming up in sports around this town if they don't. Okay, Riz. Thank you. Well, thousands are rocking downtown this afternoon as Rock to the Rescue. It is taking center stage. Everybody's dancing out here, but Colby will have to have him explain that shortly. Sticks, REO Speedwagon, Foreigner AJ, more than a dozen leading rockers from the 70s and 80s, performing at a benefit concert at Gund Arena this afternoon. Proceeds will go to the Port Authority Police, World Trade Disaster Survivors Fund, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Educational Fund. It's nice to see these rockers older than I am. You don't see that too often <laughs> anymore. All I can say is thank God you didn't sing. Thank God is correct. I mean, you in the, the newsroom, the shrill screams besides Riz yelling at the Browns were coming out of your little yeah. cubicle. I was doing my sticks impressions, and they were not <sighs> very good. It was horrendous. Now That's all I have to say. Going to do his impersonation of a weather forecaster. <laughs> You've done imper I'm not. <laughs> I play one on. Sailing away with rock legends, your front row seat to their jamming concert in Cleveland coming up. Well, the temperatures are cool right now. Danger you cannot see. And we're 
sailing away with some of the hottest bands of the 70s and the 80s. Tonight, your front row seat to Styx, Foreigner, and more. And get ready to toss another blanket on your bed. AJ standing by with a freeze. Semi to haul it from place to place. Sticks, bad company, foreigners jamming right here in Cleveland. Hottest bands of the 70s and the 80s roll into town, and it's all for a very good cause. Your front row seat to the rockin' event coming right up. And she claimed she was trampled. The way that she That's a blast from the past as rock and roll legends from the 70s and 80s jam and gunned arena for a very special benefit concert. Welcome back, everybody. Bands like Styx, REO Speedwagon, and Thorner are volunteering their time on stage to raise money for an often forgotten group of volunteers of the September 11th attacks. Fox 8 News reporter Kathy Cronenberger takes us behind the scenes of Rock to the Rescue. go back more than 30 years. The average age of the performers and their fans closing in on 50. This benefit concert called Rock to the Rescue features some of the most popular bands from the 70s like Styx, Foreigner, and Eddie Money all playing for free. You know, we're all smiling. We're all, everybody's working harder than they ever work when they're getting paid. Shaw, lead singer of Styx, came up with the idea after September 11th. I just had it with watching the news and feeling so, you know, powerless to do anything. And, and it, there was a lot that needed to be done. There were people who needed help. So he called up his rock and roll friends, like Hall of Famer Sam Moore. When you turn the TV on, the second one was hitting. And I went, oh, I mean, we just stood like this. I couldn't believe it. All the proceeds go to an often forgotten group of victims, families of the 37th Port Authority officers who died that day. The problem was the mourning process. Out of the 37 guys we lost, we've had 22 funerals. So there's still 15 bodies that they haven't found that we're probably never going to have a funeral for. 36 men and one woman who leave behind spouses and children, some of whom they never got a chance to see. We had 76 children that were left. Uh, 65 of those right now are minors, and there were three children born after September 11th. And while Cleveland is the last concert on this benefit tour, it may not be the last stop. Everybody's already talking, well, next year, you know, so I can see this being an annual thing. These rock guys, are, uh, they really have come to our rescue. Well, you can still rock in America, ain't that right? To give their time and energy and uh, finances to assist somebody else is really showing the real true great people that they are. Kathy Cronenberger, Fox 8 News. You. With this tour, the bands will have raised more than a million dollars for victims' families. The concert was put on here in Cleveland with the help of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's standing on a deserted road practicing to kill. How much they miss home for just a little while. He is so wonderful, isn't he? Yeah, very He's cool. He's a good guy. Well, tonight at the Gun, some of your favorite names in music are donating their talent to raise money for families of New York police killed on 9-11. Clevelanders are hearing a night of legendary performers who've decided to use their star power and send rock to the rescue. <laughs> It was not the first time these musicians have banded together to help out survivors of the New York Port Authority officers who died. Foreigner was among an all-star lineup that did this in New Jersey last night and Cleveland tonight. Styx lead singer Tommy Shaw put it all together. You call your friends and they call their friends and next thing you know you have this thing here tonight. On stage it was incredible. Rock Hall inductee Sam Moore of Sam and Dave led this Hall of Fame band with his signature song and made sure no one in the crowd could keep still. 
Members of the New York Port Authority Police found it hard to believe the outpouring of love and support from America and from these musicians. It's a wonderful thing. It's unbelievable. And uh, we can't thank them enough ourselves. And the family certainly appreciate everything that they're doing for them. And watching the musicians, you could see this was coming from the heart. To help out everything that happened here, I think, is so important. It's the way we can give and the way we can just keep giving and giving and giving. That's our producer's favorite, by the way. Part of the proceeds from tonight's concert also will benefit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Educational Fund. Last year, a similar show, Volunteers for America, raised more than a half a million dollars for the Port Authority Police Department. Ahead on Channel 3 News, a towering inferno.